like me, man. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. Be feeling like one of the ball playing, you know, bird of magic or something. guys i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day the title of the video is not a clickbait this is gonna be a very sad but exciting video just wait and watch till the end because yeah i'm not gonna say anymore let's just start the day now but first we gotta feed the beast i just realized this is the last fill up in the trx i'm definitely gonna miss this truck but i'm not gonna miss filling this thing up i'm not gonna get tired of this sound though I took delivery of my TRX about 15 months ago and I've enjoyed every bit of the ownership. There's a few things that uh, I didn't enjoy like, you know, filling it up or it averaging nine miles per gallon. But besides that, this is absolutely the best truck on the market if you're rich. So we're here at MC Whips and what we're gonna be doing is taking the tints off. Oh yeah. This is Martin, the tint specialist here and look how easy this tent is coming off. Good tent. Good little tent. Look at that, it's like purple. This is the what, carbon ceramic, nano, whatever? This one's nano ceramic, yeah. Nano ceramic. So we gotta take the tents off. Not all of them, we're gonna take the driver's side, passenger side, and then the windshield gotta come off as well. And make sure to also go follow Motor City Whips. I'll leave their Instagram right up here. It's a one-stop shop. They do collision work, wrap, tent, detailing. They do it all here, so make sure you go hit them up with a follow. So passenger side is off, and the driver side is off, and the windshield is slowly coming off. Thank you, Martin, and now you get to keep that. And now we got to install that. So this is a bed cover, okay? And we have to figure out a way to put this on. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna figure this out. So there's a few things that come in this box. You got these rails right here, one for this side, one for that side. And then you got these. These basically go over here and it basically clamps it in and basically holds it in place. And there's a bunch of them all the way across. And then, then you got the cover right here that just simply goes on the rails. So this is the first time doing it. Shout out to Gentian for helping me. So I tightened up this clamp and now gotta tighten this one up. So we got the cover on, the bolt is through here. We just gotta tighten it up here. But here, the bolt is nowhere near where we gotta get it in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look, the bolt is right there. We gotta get it through this hole so it's almost impossible to do that. So I threw the cover in the back seats and that's where it's gonna stay. The rails up, it's not closing. I think we gotta push it a little that way. Or there it is. All right, the rails are in there, but as you guys seen, it was impossible to put it on. I don't even think this is the right cover for this truck. I didn't personally buy it. The new buyer bought it and sent it to me and told me to put it on. And well, it ain't gonna get put on. Now let's check out and see what's behind this door. So we got a Bentley Bentayga right here with four Giados, and check out the interior on this thing red leather seats and this thing is in here for chrome delete we also have an indigo blue skinny wide body hellcat red eye so this is a red eye nine wide body you don't see many of these and look what we got here we got a sandwich we got baby salad sandwich. oh you're back on the healthy tip oh look how nice that's it nice is. that's a lot of calories bro there's no way that's healthy it's not i don't know there's no way, bro. This salad is huge, like 10 pounds. Such a hater. 
I'm kidding. I'm having a, a sandwich instead. <laughs> All right, guys. So now it's time to go home. The food was amazing. The smoothie was amazing. But we're going to go home and talk to you guys about what is exactly happening with the TRX. So we're back home and we got the TRX right here. And it's going to stay where it is until it gets picked up by the shipping company. So the reason the TRX is getting picked up is because it's officially sold. It's no longer mine. It's gone. Well, not gone just yet, but it's sold. It's not my truck anymore. I don't own it. All we're waiting for right now is for the new title to come in because I had to pay off the truck first before going out and selling it. So once the new title comes in, a shipping company will come and pick it up and this truck will be gone. And you guys will be surprised where this truck is going. It's going out of the country. I'm going to tell you guys later on in the video where exactly this truck is going. So the reason I'm selling this truck is because it no longer serves me a purpose. This truck does not pull the views it needs to pull to justify owning it. So let me break down how I do things on this channel. YouTube to me is a business. I know a lot of you guys don't see it that way and you just think I pick up a camera and start playing around but YouTube is a business. There's a lot of money involved and you gotta run it as a business otherwise you will lose. So for example this truck is a business expense. I bought it so I can make content with it so it can help me grow and try to excel in my business. So just like in any business things don't always go as planned. For example this truck didn't make any profits. It simply paid for itself and then the gas was like losses basically okay. So it just cost way too much to own and the views weren't justifying owning it. I basically have to make enough money to pay for the truck and then make some profits on top of that. That's how things work on YouTube and well this truck didn't do that. So when a vehicle doesn't pay for itself it becomes a liability and not an asset. So even though vehicles are known to be a liability for most people for me they're an asset because I use them to make money but when they don't make money like this TRX they become a liability and it's time for them to go. Alrighty boys, it is the last day with the TRX and we're gonna do a final startup for you guys. This is officially the last drive in the TRX. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I'm supposed to be sad, happy, relieved. I don't know, but I'm just excited for the future of this channel. I know this truck being on this channel was a very bad business move. It didn't generate the revenue that it needed to. I think I've kept the truck for way longer than I needed to. I should have got rid of this truck like eight months ago, but I literally grew attachment to the vehicle, which is something you shouldn't do when you're running a YouTube channel. It's all business. It shouldn't be personal. I understand that now, but it's just something I've always done. Even the Challenger, I think I kept that for way longer than I needed to. And I also put the title of the truck here so the new owner can take it. It's signed and ready for him. I've also cleaned the TRX. Look at that. Gave it a nice little detail. And let me show you guys the back. I got the car cover here for him since we couldn't put it on because it wasn't the right cover. So he can have that back, but detail the truck and looks all good for him. The outside isn't clean just because it's gonna be on an opened trailer for like only God knows how long because it's going out the country. So there's no reason to clean it. That would be just simply pointless. So look on the bright side. We still got two supercharged cars. And here is the truck. Oh boy, this is happening. This truck is finally going away. And I also reminded the new owner that this truck runs on E85. I put a sticker here, I put a sticker here, and we also put a sticker here. Bam. Just so he doesn't mistakenly put 93 in this car and blow it up. Alrighty boys, time to get this bad boy on here. truck is going on top. How do you feel about this? Sad, but on to better things. Alrighty, it's going up in the air now. It literally barely fit. I mean, look. <laughs> look at this. 
it literally barely fits. It literally hangs out like six, well not six inches, like three inches on this side. And then about three here. And then here's under the truck. Look at this. It is huge. Oh man, it's sad to see it go, but man, we got big things to worry about now. All right, the car is all strapped up. The truck driver is about to hop in here and take this to New Jersey. And then from New Jersey, it's going on a boat all the way to France. Yes, my TRX got sold to someone in France. I couldn't believe it at first. I mean, didn't think anyone from out the country would buy, well, I mean, I think it's normal to buy cars from America and then ship it out there, but I know to ship it out there is probably like $10,000. So it's got to be a car you can make a lot of money on. And honestly, I got exactly what I want for this truck. I did not lose money on it. So that was another reason I wanted to sell it. Because he gave me a great offer and I couldn't say no to it. So let's say bye to the TRX. A whole year and a half ownership with it. And now it's off to France. But we still got the Hellcat and the GT500 at home. And we're going to add one more car to the fleet. Let me know what you guys think that car is. Talk to me in the comments below. And there it goes. She looks so good to this day. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Let me know what you guys think of the sale of the TRX. Are you guys happy? Are you guys sad? Honestly, you guys should not be sad at all because when that truck was in the fleet you guys chose not to watch those videos and didn't give me a lot of views on those videos so that tells me that you guys don't really give a shit about the car